I'm Travis, and this is Handcrafted Overlanding. Today, we're gonna fix these two solar panels to the top of that RV. Over here, up, up, up there, yeah, there. Not, not over there, up there. Let's do it. So I'm looking to see how it was... Oh, how it mounted? Yeah. I think you just put it in the damn roof. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm looking at it. It looks it's like... It's almost impossible to find the aluminum I-beams to screw into those. Right. That's why I'm thinking butyl tape underneath and we screw it directly into the roof and then we also use a lap sealant to seal it up around it. Right. And we'll just have to keep an eye on them and if they start to come loose, well then we'll just put bigger screws in. Or or those dry, those, remember those plastic dry ones that feather out? Yeah. Those would probably work too. Those could, yeah. You know. Well, I mean... It's not like I'm going to be RVing full time. No, I know, I know. My, my, my concern though is, is uh, rain coming through and... Uh, well, yeah. that's why I have the butyl tape underneath the hangers. And then I have the self-leveling self lap sealant for the top of that. So it's like a double sealant layer. Because they right. use the same, they use pretty much the same butyl tape except it's a different color. The old and windshield. True. I heard, yeah. that. I heard about that. It's just thicker. But since we're screwing it down, you know, it has to, it can be thin. Yeah. Well, I was also going to say, I wonder, looking at this construction and the way it lips over, yeah. I'd be one, I'd be willing to bet that that top piece is like a, a half inch to three quarter inch thick ply. Could be. Uh, it's going to be like quarter inch, quarter inch to half inch. You think so? It is going to be quarter inch. Keep weight down. Yeah, fair I enough. Usually do quarter inch. Fair enough. Kind of sucks, but. All right, but let's. But that's why, just keep an eye on it. And if it starts to pop up, well then we'll just, just use the drywall anchors. Mm. True. I mean, worst case scenario, like yeah. absolutely worst case, you drill all the way through the roof and you lag bolt it. Yeah, no, I'm not. Yeah, I was just going to say absolute worst case. Yeah. <laughs> really? No? Yeah, no. No. We're not, right. we're not doing lag bolts through the ceiling and through the interior. Oh, no, no, I'm not talking today. I'm just saying that, like. Oh, I, I never do that. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, well. Not going to happen. All right. That's on video. If we ever yeah, do, yeah. I can point back to it. Exactly. You yeah. can say I said no. Yeah. And exactly. I can say I said no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All it. right. So, do we want to get the panels up here and measure, or do we just want to grab a tape measure and measure out uh, the panel location? Well, the panel location is just going to go in the back. Right. 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 Because remember, they're well. Let's let's bring the panels out. Oh, come on. Yeah. yeah. So they sort of should be out here. I'm not going inside. You can go inside. Setting it down nice and gentle like. Right there. That's good. Have it out. So, because there's rubber right there. What I'm thinking is, we just space them out. Like one here, one down there, one down there. You want to put six per panel or th four per panel? You know, I think we should do six per panel. It'll help spread out the weight. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yep, let's get the screw in. So, Canadian Solar Brand, these are for houses. These were pulled off of a uh, commercial park, uh, place. But uh, yeah, we're gonna wire these up in series to increase our voltage up to 60, and we can keep our amperage low. Well, they're left and right brackets, aren't they? No. <laughs> I'm just I hope not. I, I hope not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Otherwise, we're screwed. <laughs> Because there's no telling what's which one's left and which one's right. Uh-oh. What? Yeah, that's why you have to drill. They go like that. Yeah. So we'll just drill a little hole right there. We just widen that one out, maybe. I don't know. Let's see here. I don't want to go all the way over. What's that? Well, let's see here. Um, what we'll have to do is we'll clamp it in place. So we'll use a clamp, clamp it in place, mm -hmm. and then I'll drill right at that spot because there's a little lip here just beyond this lip. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty much going to widen out this lip right here. So I'm going to drill bit. Uh, also, why don't we get some sort of metal or wood to put behind it so you, when you get through, you don't just smack right into the panel. That'd probably be a good idea too. Yeah. yeah. Good. Because I can see myself doing that, so. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, I agree. Breaking just perfectly good panels? Never, never a good idea. So, all right, let's 
see. Yeah, one will do. Yeah, one will do. Lock there. Yeah. Just underneath there so it covers it. And then that's a quarter inch. Nah, it's pretty much quarter. Don't worry, I'm pretty good. I believe you. I'm not worried about my fingers. There's so much panel. It's nice and slow. That's all right. That's okay. I really don't mind. So grab a bolt. Yeah, let me see something real quick. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Yeah. Now take the thing out. I just want to. Shave it down a little bit. Yeah. Alright. Alright, let's see if this works. Good idea. Nothing's... Oh yeah. That was actually really good here. I think that'll be fine. Alright. Only 11 more to go. Yay! <laughs> That's not that good. Well, don't turn it down because the, the bracket's on backwards. Oh yeah, huh. That, that might be cool. Proof of concept. You can leave the bolt in. I'll just yeah. put that around. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, that'll hold tight. That's not going to go anywhere. Thanks. Okay. I'm just 11. See what happens. Yeah. Cool. Actually, probably won't even need to drop it back. <laughs> but we're gonna do it anyways. Better be safe than sorry. I got gray. That's awesome. Yeah, wrong type. A little bit squeezes out and we're good. All right. And I'll put some. A little bit on top? Yep. Just leave that right there to do its thing. Yeah, I think this will work pretty good. Before we get too far, can we reach our hand underneath and grab the... Uh, They're yeah. right here. Okay. Yeah, they're sticking out right here. All right, that's good. So we're actually... That's where you're going to want Well... Well, what? We might want them both right here, actually. Yeah. We can do them both up underneath the thing, and it'll actually help. We can do it like this, and then like this, and then keep them right underneath. I agree. That would be perfect.
Dude, that looks awesome. I mean, seriously, man, that looks better than professional. Like, compare, well, take a look at the other ones. Yeah. Those look so much better. And then, yes, I'm right. That's fine. That's okay. It's not late right there for just a minute. So, I guess we want the longer side. That's what I would suggest. The longer side, the longer of the two. So, the one with that right there is the negative that you just tossed out. Okay. Right? That's part of somewhere. Yeah. And this one, we'll just have it over here. We'll have this stuff over here. Do we want to connect these right now? Uh, sure, why not? All right. Yeah, just like that. It ain't going away. So I think that's what these are. These are the short spots where they shorted out. Maybe. So. That's what they look like. Anyways. Here is those ends. Okay, let's put them. I'm trying to make them in. I know, but I'm going to put it up underneath this one. So ev everything is going to be like right over here. Yeah. And I'm probably going to even put it in its own little box. So this goes in this one. And this goes in this one. There we go. All right. I'll hold on. Um, yeah, we're good. I'm going to make sure those are in like that. There we go. All we're right. Good. Yeah. Now I get the move. Um, well, we're almost directly on our mark already. Right I'm like right now. So, here, I'm going to move this this way. I want you... Um, I'm going to have to... No, no, no. You know Get up by the uh, AC unit. I'll handle the ladder at the edge over here. I want you to handle those two right there. Ah, uh, I, I, I see, I see. Yeah, because remember, I'm mean, tall, I'm also big. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. level. <laughs> be level with me. Don't fall through. Okay, let's get these right where it's supposed to be. Alright, so I got a mark here. Got tape measure. Mark here. Oh, you'd have to go down to get the stuff in there. So. Yeah. So. so if you want to grab the stuff and bring it up here. Got a little bit of, of the uh, fuel. Self level stuff on your foot. Right, which. No, it's giving you like your right here. side. Is it? Yep. Oh! Maybe. There's those pants. Nah, these are all work pants anyways. <laughs> Actually, it probably is on my shoe, you're right. Leave some of this out, aren't I? Probably. <laughs> okay, this should go no, I'm not DCA gonna. the 40. This should do up the 40 amps. Yep. Okay. All right. Hold it. Well, it only do 10 amps, but. Yeah. Well, this should only produce a maximum of nine amps. It's milliamps. That should be right. Yeah. 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 It should only be a max of nine amps going through this thing, if that. Actually, it's eight point something. Nine amps is the short circuit. Oh, that's pulling something. Okay, that's not bad. One amp? Yeah. yeah. That's perfectly fine. Because remember, we didn't wire it for amps. We wired it for voltage. Well, all right. No, no. But, and look, and the sun is like really low, and it's like two-thirds shaded, and it's getting even more shady. Yep. So right now, you're... Actually, I think the in all both solar panels are in the shade. Because look, you can see the shade on the ground. <laughs> right where the solar panels are. Yep. So yeah, it's all in the shade right now. So you should definitely test and give me a picture of this. Yeah.
Yeah, about one point two. Yeah, one point one, one point two. So that is sixty, seventy watts. Yeah, about Let's that. Let's show this one. It's a different unit. Okay. Okay. You know what's funny? This glass, or this uh, plastic, is polarized. Same thing. The other one was picking up between yeah. 1.1, 1. 1, 1. 1.2. Yeah, it just shows me that the other volt That's probably was the shitty. wind. Yep. Yeah, it's the wind going back and forth over the panel. So, so right. 1.3. Let's do uh, watts. Well, you, we'll have to do calculations on watts. I, I mean, um, volts. Volts. Yeah, let's do volts. The other one said about 60s in the 60s. 33. Point. It's more in the shade. Yep. And the sun is really, really, really low on the horizon. Yep. Awesome. Now, you know what's awesome about the disconnector is that now we can see how much the MPPT charger eventually will actually pull off of these. Right. Very cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So if you want, later on, we'll, on part two, we could do the connection to the roof. Mm -hmm. And then we could do... Um, Maybe the MPP charge controller. Yeah, maybe. In place I mean, of that. in place of this PWN. Wimpy piece of. Yeah. Yes. Well, to be fair, it was designed for the 50 water. That's, 50 watt solar panel. Yeah. And that's just enough to keep it leveled off. So once right. the battery's charged, that should be enough to keep it that way. Mm. But it'll never really charge it when you're boondocking or if you're out in the wheel. No, right, right. It'll never charge it. Right. And that is actually what we're, our goal is, is to make this thing more self-sufficient than they do coming from the factory so oh, yeah all right guys hope you learned something thanks for watching